Hello, everybody. I'm Doug Anderson, Artistic Director of the Opera Company of Middlebury, and it's a delightful morning for me because I get to sit and talk a little bit with one of my favorite people, Meredith Lustig, a soprano whom we've seen several times on our stage. Um, we believe in long-term relationships with singers, and when we find somebody who has talent, both as an actor and a singer, and is also a delightful person, collegial, open-hearted, fun to work with, we find we bring them back over and over again. And in a way, the trajectory of their career sort of matches the trajectory of our company, and we all, we all grow together. So welcome home. Thank you. Good to see you. We've seen you in very different roles here. The first time we saw you was as Blanche Dubois in Streetcar Named Desire. Mm -hmm. Then something very different, Tchaikovsky as the king's consort in, in Maid of Orleans, and now doing a contemporary piece, Glory Denied, where you play an American woman who was married to an imprisoned man. Now, you've, you've been in rehearsal now for several days with a, with a terrific cast, I mm -hmm. might say. What an amazing cast we have. Um, so even in the last few days, have you learned something on stage about, you're like, oh, there's that moment I, I hadn't recognized before or something like that? I've learned a lot about counting. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've learned to, uh, how, how, you know, I think in terms of the character, um, I think I'm learning a lot about stillness. Mm. I'm learning about the power of stillness. For the people watching, just quickly explain her situation. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I play older Alice, and uh, you'll see in the opera that there are only two characters. There is uh, Thompson and his wife, Alice. There is a younger version of each character, an older version of each character. Not old, but older. <laughs> um, and I am playing the older version of a woman whose husband has... Uh, been made a prisoner of war in the Vietnam War. You know, here's this woman with very little answers who is forced to raise four kids mm -hmm. and live in this uncertainty. And it's true. Nine it's all years true story. she had to live. It's all true. Mm -hmm. In terms of preparation, how do you prepare? Is it a different preparation for something as contemporary as Glory Denied as say something as Chikoska or Papageno or the other uh, Papageno or the other classic roles you play? Yeah, I mean, I would say the preparation process is very similar, um, but that's just my personal approach to singing. You know, mm -hmm. for me, it always starts with the text and you start with the music and the notes and it doesn't matter where the notes fall on the page, but you know, it, you start with the text and then you start with the pitch mm -hmm. and then you start to build that muscle memory in. Um, so, so in a way, you know, these roles might appear different mm -hmm. on the surface, but for me, as a performer, the process is very much the same. I think most audiences, even smart opera audiences, don't realize that that's constant training, isn't constant. it, to maintain the voice and to, to somehow pick up these difficult roles. Yeah, constant. And, and it's, it makes sense because our bodies are always changing. You know, I wake up with a new instrument every day. And so my job is to sort of just assess and live with the instrument I'm given on a given day. And you hope for consistency and you train and condition yourself to hopefully build that muscle memory. But, you know, really my job is to just inhabit this body in the best way that I can in whatever way it's given to me on any day. Great. So. I love that. I love that. Well, the, 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 the piece in question is Glory Denied by Tom Sapullo. And um, it is contemporary music, which means it's the, the tone clusters are interesting. The intervals are interesting. It, it's the time signature changes sometimes from measure to measure. But Tom also writes really lyrical passages, yes. really beautiful songs embedded in this very difficult story. And since we have you here, I thought we would ask you to sing a little bit of her aria yeah, um, yeah. Uh, after you hear me out. Absolutely. Can we do that? Okay. Meredith Lustig singing part of After You Hear Me Out from Glory Denied.
That was terrific. Thank you very much. That was Neil Thank Campbell, you. who's come to, to, to play this show for us and play rehearsals and also be in the, in the pit band. Um, what do you think of that music? I mean, what does it mean to sing that kind of music? Oh, gosh, I have loved Tom's music for so long. And it's just such a joy to finally get to play in this piece. You know, as crunchy as it, it gets in moments, it opens up into these grand mm -hmm. operatic Puccini romantic qualities that, you know, I think that's really emblematic of, of the life we lead, right? Mm -hmm. Like not every moment gets to be a beautiful, grand one. Sometimes we have to like go through the nitty gritty, the discordant moments, but God, don't you love <laughs> the consonants when you finally get there because exactly. of it? That's exactly. all the more sweeter. And I think Tom's music captures that perfectly. I think so too. You can see how marvelous this is going to be. This is Glory Denied here at Town Hall Theater. You can get tickets at ocmvermont.org or by calling the Town Hall Theater box office. Uh, it's going to be an extraordinary experience, I think, for uh, our audience, and I hope to see you there. Thank you very much. <laughs>